As I am recording this video, I am on my little five day bleeding spree. <laughs> okay, that sounds very wrong. I am on my period. <laughs> Hashtag TBH. I did not want to animate this month. In fact, I was pretty lazy. I was like, ugh, I don't want to open Adobe Animate and experience crashes today or any day right now. So welcome ladies to the hashtag relatable period video. <laughs> I like to think that I have high pain tolerance, but when it comes to my period, it literally feels like I'm dying. My usual routine to ease the pain is to take two Tylenols, drink really hot tea, place a heating pad on my stomach or lower back, and lay on my bed and cry there until I pass out. Laying in bed all day sounds great, but having a heavy flow does not make it great. I would wake up feeling a little bit better, take my sheets off of me, and I just see a whole puddle of blood. Oh my god, it looked like somebody died! I stand up and I, I just, I just feel like- <laughs> Don't even get me started on public accidents. So I went to my high school orientation not knowing that I'm going to have my period. And that day I decided to wear white pants. And for some reason the gods just didn't give me any cramps that day. But they gave me it the next day. So it was literally the biggest fucking karma. The worst luck ever. Anyway, as they were giving us a tour around the school, they stopped at one class and we all sat down there for 20 minutes and listened to these two girls give a presentation. And as they were talking, I felt really weird. I was like, um, I, I feel, feel a little, a little something, something something down, down there, there, but I'm not sure because I don't feel pain. pain. Maybe, Maybe it's just, just my mind, mind playing tricks. tricks. I don't, I'm, I'm not, not on my, my period, period right? <laughs> if I were on my period, I would be in pain right now. When they were finally over, we all stood up and I automatically noticed the big ass red stain on the chair. <laughs> Good thing I was in the back seat and nobody was behind me. I had nothing to cover myself with. No sweater, just a shirt, and the whitest pants ever. It's over. The first thing I'm gonna do is transfer out. I can't. I can't bear being the laughing stock of freshman year. I can't do this. <laughs> I completely forgot about my friend! I was losing my mind and I forgot about her! As she noticed the big stain on my ass and the big stain on the chair, she said, You can use my flannel. Oh my god, I have never in my life felt so happy seeing a fucking flannel! I tied that shit around me real quick. Girl, why do we even have a flannel anyway? It's like 90 degrees. Ah, uh, you know why. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one, bestie. You're so funny. As we were leaving the room, I forgot about the chair! Oh my god, I... Uh, the big fucking puddle of blood on the chair is still there. You know what? That is not my problem. I'm not gonna go back there and be an embarrassment. They they'll handle it. <laughs> oh my god, Kelly, Kelly, come here. What? What happened? Oh, look at this. Oh. Uh, oh my god. Ew. Some nasty bitch fucking left her period blood on the chair. Oh no, I'm not washing that off. <laughs> This is so gross. I knew freshmen were disgusting, but this just proves my point. That's what I think happened because those two girls were still in the room. <laughs> oh well. My nasty ass had to walk around downtown with a bleeding cooch till I get home. Like, that takes an hour. By the time I came home, my white pants became red. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. You know what's better than having monthly periods? Being a monthly member of Skillshare. That's right, this video is sponsored by Skillshare. It's an online learning community with thousands over thousands of videos where you can explore new skills or develop existing interests. Whether you're an artist, a musician, photographer, anything in between, it's there. Of course, these aren't just videos. All of these courses have interactive projects to obviously give you a better understanding of the course. A class that I'd really recommend since we're going through these tough times are Self-Care Through Creativity by Sarah Beth 
Morgan. It's for anybody who suffers from anxiety, stress, or whatever internal emotion and transform it into art. This class is all about the process, so take it easy and you obviously do not have to rush it. This is to help you explore your inner emotions and funnel them into art you're proud of. Not just to have a bunch of likes on Instagram or followers, but to use it as a toolkit whenever you're feeling down. This class also has an insightful interview with a real therapist. This gives you a very safe setting to explore your emotion and pull inspiration from anxiety, stress, or anything like that. This is of course not to glorify anxiety or struggle, but it's to normalize mental health in the realm of art. If you're interested in taking this class or using Skillshare, the first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get 30% off an annual premium membership. Even if you already have a free trial of Skillshare, you can still take advantage of this offer to get a full year of unlimited learning and creative exploration. So make sure you take advantage of this offer to explore your creativity. Click the link in the description below and thank Skillshare for sponsoring today's video.